Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and welcome to another Android tutorial. So, if you've been watching the Google I.O. live stream, like I have, you saw almost right away they had said something about Android Studio, the new development kit. And I saw it and was immediately ecstatic because I hate working, or not even working, it's more like fighting with Eclipse to try and get uh, to get stuff to work so I was really excited when they had said that they were releasing this new Android Studio and I immediately went to try and uh, download it now I see, I've seen a couple people asking where to get it because people haven't known so what I'm doing is I'm gonna go over how to install setup and uh, get everything to work so first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to developer.android.com forward slash SDK which will take you here should take you right here uh, download the SDK if you click this this will give you the Android develop or the Android developer tools with Eclipse which is what we've used for a long time what you want to do is click on Android Studio and then over here on the right you'll see download Android Studio version 0 0.1 that's the one you want to get it's 364 megs so uh, it's a large download for me because I have a really slow internet connection so that's the first thing you want to get and then the second thing you're going to need is you have to get the Java development kit 7 so accept and then get your Windows version this is 32-bit this is 64-bit I have 64-bit so I got 64-bit next what you want to do is run the installer for Android Studio. Actually, you should probably run the installer for the development kit. <clears throat> but once you have installed that, then you can continue with this. As you see right here, it says Android SDK relies on the Java SE development kit. Version 1.7 has been found. However, it looks at C program files times 86 because it's 32 bit. Java. JRE, which is Java Runtime Environment, not Java Development Kit. So even though it says it found it, you might not have the development kit. So if you haven't downloaded the development kit, or you don't know if, you've ha if you have it, you might not, and this won't work. So if you are sure that you have this, ignore this section, because this is the wrong path anyways. Um because if you have 64-bit you should have downloaded 64-bit and it will put it in C program files Java JDK 1.7 or something like that anyway just click next and uh, there's nobody else that logs onto this computer so I can click install just for me and next I don't care that it's in the app data folder so I'm gonna install it there and Android Studio and then now we're just going to let it extract and install and I will be back when it's finished and it's uh, now it's finished installing so I'm gonna go ahead and click next and you see start Android Studio and it might not work so I'm just gonna hit and it worked so uh, that's actually I wasn't really expecting it to work because it hasn't worked before it might not work so in order to fix that what you have to do is go to your computer right click on computer go to properties advanced system settings and then environment variables and what I had to do was I had to make a system variable of where is it? Oops, wrong one. Uh, JDK underscore home, and with the variable value C program files Java JDK one point seven point zero underscore two one, which is right in here. Where is it? Program files Java. JDK and this and this entire thing it relies on stuff in bin there's a Java file in the bin folder as well as there's an entire runtime environment inside of the development kit you want it to locate this runtime environment instead of the other one because well for one thing this one's newer and another reason is that uh, it doesn't have to look in two different folders it's one's nested right inside of the other which I guess doesn't really matter all that much but it makes it cleaner if nothing else so 
that's what you want to do. Just make sure you set up this environment variable because <clears throat> inside of the app data, see users carry app data local Android Android Studio bin studio. If we look at this, it looks to see where it checks Android Studio, JDK, JDK Home, and Java Home. Because it has no system uh, variable for Android Studio, it looks at JDK Home. So if not JDK, go to JDK. If it exists JDK Home, set JDK equal to that. So basically it just grabs that system variable and puts it in there. So anyways, now, uh, the entire thing is set up so we can actually be done and uh, last thing I should probably do is, is go back into that so oh God. app data Android studio there we go bin not even bin. we'll just alt create a link there it is and studio Okay, now I can go ahead and delete that. Actually, I'm not going to because I might need it later to install it on another device. Um, so there we go. Now we have a full running installation of the brand new Android Studio, complete with tips. Uh, yeah, so anyways, this thing from testing it out for about five minutes uh, seems like a nice, nice editor. Um, I'm not sure if, if they've solved all of the problems yet. It's, it could be very buggy still because it is brand new today. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later in the next tutorial.